It takes a village to raise a child, we know it already, but Sweden has taken this proverb and turned it into a policy. This Nordic country is home to about 10 million people and some of the world's most progressive childcare policies. In 1974, Sweden introduced paid paternity leave. This is paid time off from work for fathers of newborn children. Back then, this law was a world first. Fifty years later, Sweden has made history again, this time by expanding the policy. Now even grandparents can get paid time off. Here's how. Swedish parents can officially outsource childcare. They can transfer a portion of their parental leave to other caretakers, mostly grandparents, but other relatives and friends as well. And the child care benefits will expand. They'll apply to caretakers who are not part of the child's immediate family. According to research, this will give families more flexibility. It will incentivize support and help parents balance work with raising a child. Now, this is a trailblazing policy. But then again, Swedish parental policies almost always are. Here, parents get 480 days of paid time off, 480 days. They can split the leave amongst themselves. On average, fathers take 30% of the leave. And this is so normalized that it is taboo for Swedish fathers to skip the leave. But while Sweden has aced maternal, paternal and extended family leave, most of the world is still struggling with the second step. And that is paternity leave. Swedish fathers take the longest paternity leave in Europe. What about other European countries? Iceland offers 180 days of paid paternity leave. Spain offers 112 days. Netherlands, 42 days. But not every European country is this progressive. Look at the UK. It has the worst paternity leave in the continent. Only two weeks of leave. This is paid time off, but the pay is fixed. About $246 a week. It's a bad deal for families with a newborn child. So one in three fathers in the UK take no paternity leave at all. And one in two families where fathers do take the leave, they struggle financially. So the British are trying to fight this law. Men are campaigning for a longer and better paternity leave and they have birthed an unusual movement. They're attaching toy babies and slings to statues across the nation. But look outside Europe and the situation gets even worse. Take the US for instance, it's among a handful of Western countries that does not guarantee paternity leave. What about Asia? Japan and China are the front runners here with 28 and 14 days of paternity leave respectively. Meanwhile in India, only government employees get paternity leave of 15 days. There is no law for the leave in the private sector. It is left to the discretion of companies. The same applies to Thailand. And in Russia, fathers get only five days of unpaid paternity leave. Basically, across the world, the picture looks bleak. And this is not surprising. Child rearing is still seen as a woman's job. So several countries offer generous maternity leave. But paternity leave is not a priority. Bulgaria, for instance, offers 410 days of paid maternity leave. It's the highest in the world. But what about their paternity leave? Just 15 days. Greece offers 301 days of maternity leave, but 18 days to the fathers, 18 days of paternity leave. And this is the norm. But here's the hard truth. Gender equality cannot appear out of thin air. People need incentives to make it happen. So parental leave is important, not only for mothers, but also fathers, because it is good for babies, the family, and the society as a whole. In countries with six or more weeks of paternity leave, the gender pay gap reduces by 4%. And the workforce participation gap reduces by 3.7%. Meaning when parents see childcare as an equal responsibility and when the dynamic shifts at home, there is positive change both at home and everywhere else. First Post decodes the US election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes. And its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.